Giant Software have released new information and a new trailer on the French map coming with Farming Simulator 22. Oop, that all. Idyllic vineyards striping the hillsides and a beautiful river flowing through the heart of the map. Oop, that all offers players a dramatic change from the USA map, Elm Creek, and might just be the perfect place to call home. We've got a new trailer to show you the map up close and personal, so let's take a look. So, what do you think about the new French map for Farming Simulator 22? As you can see, this was inspired by parts of France and the Mediterranean region. There's still lots of variation between the highest point and lowest point on the map, with tons to do in between. With various field sizes and shapes, as well as hilly and flat terrain, lots of places to explore. This one's got a ton of places to explore. And an overall great atmosphere. Upello is sure to be a fan favorite when the game releases in just 10 days. You probably noticed that there were some things that have changed about the map or been improved since we originally introduced to the map back in July. Various game aspects have been worked on overall since then to make this map and the game look even more real and immerse you into the world a farming simulator. On Upano, there's going to be plenty of places for you to take over or build your own farm. However, unlike the Elm Creek video, we really didn't get to see many of those predefined farms. But don't worry, let's just say multiplayer will not be a problem. In addition to the teaser trailer, we've also got four new fact sheets to take a look at, so let's check them out. The first of which is the map itself. Word on the street is all the maps, at least as of a few months ago, are all going to be the exact same size as the Farming Simulator 19 map, so keep that in mind when looking at this. The first thing that jumps out at me is that there's no fields, at least on this view. It's all paved roads, dirt roads, trees, and water. No fields. It's probably safe to assume that the fields will be in between all of these various places, so start picking out which area you want to build on first. Going from the top left to the top right, we could see some pretty basic farmland areas with some field depths that are square on one or two sides, but definitely are not completely squared off like we saw on 19 of Felsburn. The middle of the map brings us to what looks to be the largest logging area on the map, with some dirt paths in between and smaller field areas. It should be a nice spot to make your own secret firm in the woods. <laughs> Love that. After passing over the train tracks, we see the top right hand side of the map, which is some pretty squared off fields and offers one of the largest plots on the map, as well as what looks to be a cell point or farm location. The middle of the map brings us an area that can only be described as aquatic. <laughs> this river cuts through the land and makes its way right through the middle of the map in an L shape, pushing through alongside a long island in the middle and of course the train tracks to the north and south before opening up right in front of the town center. This is likely where some of the cell points are going to be. We're also going to see on the right hand side of the map, mountainous areas, which should remind you of a few spots on Olengrad, the Alpine map. That's pretty cool. There would definitely be lots of terrain undulation on this map. Lastly, the bottom third of the map brings us the largest plot of land on this map itself, which should be a great poplar harvest spot. Or 
If you don't like to torture yourself, maybe Sorghum, try that. We've got some pretty squared off fields down here. Should make for some easy farming overall with little trouble from Helper B. We do have a nice pond moving across as well with the train tracks heading down and around the bottom of the map. We also have a downturn of the river here as well with some smaller farmlands and fields the very bottom right. This map will most certainly present a challenge to anyone wanting to expand their farm operations to France and of course, harvest some delicious grapes. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. Our second screenshot today is this, an older barn, which kind of reminds me of the old farm countryside and some areas around Black Sheep modding maps, as they do French maps, so it fits right in it. On the left hand side here, we have a few fields. In the middle behind the building, we have some pretty high up mountains. And on the right, we have more buildings overlooking this beautiful map. We also have some new trees that I've never seen in farm zone before, presented at the opening of the building right here. I wonder if this is going to be one of the starting farms. That would be pretty cool. Our third screenshot today brings us to the town with buildings that all seem to be made pretty well at the same time. We've also got some pedestrians and of course, a beautiful fountain. The flowers are quite nice as well, I like that touch. Again, here we get to see some hilly areas in the background behind the buildings with some pretty big trees. But what else do you guys see in this image? I may be missing some stuff, but it seems pretty basic. Let me know. And our last screenshot of Ubaron brings us here to what translates to the hillside spinning. I would guess this is probably the spinnery location. And here you're going to produce fabric from wool and cotton and then take that over to the tailor shop to be turned into clothes. Of course, we've got the hot air balloon in the background <laughs> and his giants. I'd love to put that in the marketing of this map, which I'm totally down for, by the way. I would love to fly that thing. One other thing that stands out to me in this picture is the shadows cast from the trees onto the building. This looks awesome and looks really good in game. It's hard to get shadows to work right without making them too dark. And I think this is the perfect balance for farm sim. Out of the three maps coming to Farming Simulator 22, Ubarom is the European styled map, but there's gonna be two others as well. Elm Creek is the only American based game map. And if you're looking for something more familiar, the Swiss Apps map, run on glad, will be the one that you wanna go with as it will be returning from the Alpine DLC for Farm Sim 19. Any way you look at it, players from all around the world will be able to enjoy Farming Simulator more than ever with updated features, graphics, and gameplay mechanics. Oh yeah, you can't forget about the awesome tractors and equipment. Gamers, new, seasoned, young and old, will all be able to start their farms and work their fields soon enough. Get hype, we're not too far away now. Today is also the last day to enter this week's giveaway, which is themed around PlayStation players. Players can enter win a PlayStation gift card. Three winners are gonna be chosen, and each will receive a $50 gift card to use on Farming Simulator 22 or whatever else you want. The giveaway is limited to the United States, since PSN cards are region locked and I'm buying them here in the United States. I do apologize for anyone outside the United States. This week's giveaways are sponsored by the community. Those guys, you guys, who have used the code DJ Gohan when purchasing the game on Giant's website, as well as DLCs and things like that. I will be doing one more scheduled giveaway next week, which is gonna include a $100 Xbox gift card, a $100 PlayStation gift card, both of which are region locked to the United States, by the way, and one PC code for FarmSim 22 and the year one season pass, which is worldwide. Those are all gonna be split into three different giveaways so that you can just enter the one that you wanna win. And also one of those winners will be randomly chosen to win a really terribly signed t-shirt as well, thanks to the gracious donation from Sassy Farmer. I really tried to make this look good. It's just, oh, it turned out so bad. I'm so sorry. If you'd like to enter this week's giveaway, check out the Gleam link in the description below. I'll also be doing giveaways the day that FarmSim 22 releases which will consist of more PC code. So stay tuned for those. Farming Simulator 22 will be releasing on Monday, November 22nd, 2021 on PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and Google Stadia. If you guys are on PC and would like to pre-order the game or the year one season pass or both of them together, check out the links below and make sure you use the code DJGOHAM. Those links go to help support the channel at no additional cost to you and 100% of the proceeds from the Farming Simulator 22 pre-orders go back into giveaways. So that if you can't get the game, you still have a chance to get one of the giveaways. I wanna make sure that everyone that wants to play this game, it's a chance to. And I wanna say thank you to everyone who has used that code so far. You guys are awesome. If you have any questions at all about Farm Sim 22, the French map at all, giveaways or anything else, post those in the comments section below and check the description for helpful links to other things you may be interested in as well. You can also find the FarmSim 22 playlist link there so you can see quite literally everything that has been announced so far 
for Farm Sim 22. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the Gohan fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss future Farming Simulator 22 content daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be Zed. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.